Hey guys, it's Xnira, and I have um, 20 orbs for um, a summon, and hopefully I'll get something nice. But um, even if I don't, I'm just going to talk about the new focus heroes. I haven't looked at any of them, so it'll kind of just be... I mean, I've looked very briefly. I don't remember anything particular about them. Um, so I don't remember exactly what... Um, how I feel about them. I don't know. We'll see. So this is going to be a three-star unit. Clarine. Um, I've already... I think I've already pulled a couple times on this banner, and I've noticed that the um, amount of gray orbs that come up is like... It feels like a much higher frequency than normal, which is kind of nice, um, because... One of the units that I really I, I really want to get Kagero just because like people have been hyping her up and I want to see how get, if she's as good as people think. Um, I mean, obviously, like there's just so many infantry units that um, she's probably gonna be fine. She's probably really strong right now. I just I don't know. Nothing. Nothing interesting. It's possible I might also clear the, um, lunatic. Wow, I didn't get any four stars on this poll. Um, I've been using Sophia just kind of, because I've run out of things to do with my energy, so I've just been, like, leveling up random units. And Sophia has really nice stats. I, like, I, I think her abilities are super underwhelming, but the new skill inheriting system, I think it's in it just make a lot of, like, not good characters actually good. Um, which is also something, like, also something I talk about, because I've, I've actually, like, done a lot of thinking about that. Um, oh my god, literally four three-star units. Feels bad. Um, supposedly there's a way to, um, look at units here. Okay, let's see, Klein, the Silver Nobleman. He gets Brave Bow. I think the only other um, unit that gets a Brave Bow is Gordon. Um, so it's nice to see that there's another Brave Bow um, archer. Uh, Glacius, um This probably means he has really high res, which is nice. It means that um, he's going to be able to um, attack, like kill mages basically, over the wall. And, um, I think just, like, from, like, a PvE perspective, that is really useful. But, like, for PvP, um, like, well, it's kind of whatever. Um, it means that he might be able to take Banna Keats if he's in melee range. If, if you, like, forget it and leave, leave him exposed. Um, Death Blow is nice. And coupled with Brave Bow, it's really nice. I wish Camilla had, had this, um... And quick repost, quick, quick repost, um, is nice. I don't think, um, because it's an archer unit, um, I, I doubt this is going to matter all that much, especially if I'm thinking for, for PvP, you're never going to, like, it, uh, like, I think it's unlikely that he, you're going to, um, use him to bait other units. Like, if it's a, t like, if your enemy has four mages, and um, Klein actually has the uh, high res stat that is implied by having Glacius, or whatever it's pronounced, um, then maybe Quick Repost is nice, but I really don't think that um, this is going to matter as much as people might think. Um, and again, like, what, what is this tag? Attack twice and wreak havoc with the Rainbow Plus. Truly, a flyer's worth nothing. But the thing is, is flyers are going to be doing, like, like I think this isn't like this is very this is not a good motto because if he's gonna have high res he's probably gonna have low defense and so if you're gonna use him to pick off um, flyers then it's possible he's gonna be like exposed to other units like other like melee units that might that that will probably kill him so it's like this is more of like a mage's wor like mage's worst nightmare nightmare because mages usually have there are very few mages with high defense stats, aside from, like, male robin, um, like, I can't think of that many, uh, because, like, 
Tharja is super low. Lind is super low. Um, uh, that's like all I can think of off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure Liliana is also really low. Um, let me think. Yeah, Lind has 14 defense. Um, yeah, like, Robin is the only, like, physically, physically tanky mage I can think of, and, um, so, I, like, I don't think, he's not a flyer's worst nightmare, he's going to be the, um, mage's worst nightmare, and mages, aside from M. Robin, which, um, since M. Robin, I'm pretty sure, is, like, the most popular mage unit right now, like, he's not going to be that useful, I think, um, Sanaki, the Bagnon's Apostle, I didn't play this game, so I have no clue. Didn't play Radiant Dawn. She, I love her um, little sprite, though. It looks like she has a really cool design. It looks very, like, East Asian. Um, Cymbeline, Grants. She's... Oh, this is interesting. So Harsh Command seems just like a wasted ability. Like, I, I can't imagine why that'd be super useful. I think Triangle... I think this is the first time we've gotten Triangle Adept on a mage um let me check that really quickly um i'm i'm pretty sure um while i'm looking at for that um having hone attack and the ability on sibling is kind of interesting wait a minute how can i not Let's see. Yeah. So the only units that have triangle adepts are um, Cordelia, Selena, and Roy. So she is the first mage to have triangle adept, which I think triangle adept is bad on melee units, but I think for a mage, it's actually kind of cool. Like, I think it's, it's not as bad. Like, I've been saying a lot that triangle adept is trash. It's only slightly less. It's only like minor trash on um a mage uh and so so just back to the symbol and hone attack um when we got ephraim people were thinking that his two attack buffs wait his two attack her, sorry his two defense debuffs would stack and you get you could get up to like minus 12 defense debuff on the enemy but that wasn't the case. I think this just looks like they screwed up somewhere. It says boost attack in different ways. Does that mean she's going to give people a plus 8 attack? I I really hope not because like I I just I just don't want that to happen. It'll be if 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 this is the case, then suddenly Sanaki slash Tharja or um oh actually she's, so it'll probably like um probably be with Nino. Um Sonica and Nino are going to be just all over the place together because that's going to be a plus 16 damage buff for Nino, which is going to be just disgusting. Um, but so I, if, but the thing is, is if they, they must stack, which suddenly makes Nino broken, which is like even more broken. Um, but like, just judging by the way Ephraim went, I can't imagine they stack. Just looking at the language... After so, grants adjacent allies plus four attack through their next actions after any combat this unit initiates. So, it's like Corin, um, female Corin, or like Fey. So, like, you attack, and then the allies next to you will get the buff, or like Breath of Life, you and you get the heal. And then units already get plus four attack at the start of every turn. But so, look, uh, it's. It sounds like, like, just looking at that language, it seems like it's going to be the Ephraim thing where they're not going to stack. But what, like, what, what, like, what, what is her character design if they don't stack? I don't know. And unlike, giving her a harsh command is kind of just, like, seems like a throwaway thought. Like, they didn't want to make her too OP by giving her a special, so they just gave her, like, a, I don't know what these are called. Gave her, like, that blue thingy. The, um, like, the team utility thing. Because... You're always gonna want to attack to give the, uh, the give the attack buff to your allies. So having harsh command is just like wasted. Um, Thunder's fist, Reinhardt. Formidable, Mage Knight. Ooh, we need more mounted. Look at his hair. He looks so like sleek. Um, 
it looks like it's it's heavily waxed or whatever oiled um excuse me i think having more mounted um mage units is fun i like that a lot dire thunder so it's like a brave weapon for mages uh blazing thunder is kind of whatever advantage is nice and good counter so he's like he's probably gonna be a good unit he's not gonna be like potentially totally broken like sanaki but he seems fine um olwyn isn't are they both blue they're both blue that's stupid why would they do that like um that seems really stupid so she also has or olwyn i guess that's a nope it's a female name okay she also has a stupid, um, the, uh, the brave, brave tome. Uh, reposition is nice. It's like, it's not great. It's okay. I mean, she doesn't have a damage special, which, which means she's more like, I don't know. Um, warding blow. That's nice because mages, um, if, if she engages on other mages, she'll have, um, the defense buff. She has Ward Cavalry. So, so, uh, so obviously, like, having Reinhardt and Olwen on the same team is going to be cool because they're going to give each other their buffs. But the thing is, is they're both blue units, which means you're gonna, your team is going to be unbalanced by having not only two Cavalry units, but two Magic Cavalry units, two Magic Tome Cavalry units. So it's like, why couldn't they have just made one of them a different color? I don't know. Um... Eldigan, Lionheart, Genealogy, The Holy War. Uh, let's see what he has. Mistletane is like a killer lance, or like a killer whatever. Killer sw killing edge, except it has higher might, which is really, really cool. Like, the reason why killing edge has such low um, might is because you get huge utility out of getting your special. Although Growing Light has no description, so I don't know what it does off the top of my head. Let me look it up. Um, I'm also going to look up what other um, cavalry tome units there are. Because one of the reasons why I think they made them both blue is because of the current so yeah, so the other two cavalry, tome cavalry units are Leo, who is red, and um, Cecilia, who's green. So they made them both blue just because they already had a red and a green one, and it maybe makes sense to have them both be blue, because they're siblings, I don't know. So that's why they made them both blue, but I think, in theory, that's like kind of nice. But for like in practice, like for the actual like balance of the game, it means that like you're probably not going to want to use both of them. Which is unfortunate because it'd be kind of fun to use like siblings in the same team. Um, wait, okay, I was looking up growing light. Growing light. Before this combat, before combat, this unit initiates foes in a wide area near the tank. Okay, so it just does like damage and AOE. Who else has it? Hawkeye is the only other unit who has it so far. I don't know what the AoE looks like. Um, so, that's... It's probably, like, fine. I don't know. Whatever. It, it, he has a special. And, um, that's nice. Fury It's interesting. It's really nice in, because it gives you more stats with which to calculate your arena um, opponent scores. Um, but obviously taking 6 damage after combat is kind of awkward because the damage mitigation you get from having plus three defense or plus three res means you're always going to take more damage than you would have. Like, like you're overall going to take more damage. You're also going to do more damage, but it's just like, it's, I don't know, it's kind of like the, like, go big or go home, high risk, high reward gameplay, but I, like, I don't like that kind of gameplay, so I'm not going to use this unit if I get one. But, I don't know, some people like that. Um, Lunge is uh, fine. Lunge is actually probably not great on this person's kit, because, um, not great on Eldegan's kit, because 
when you lunge, you, you're always going, like, you're going to be behind enemy lines, you're going to be further into enemy lines than when you initially started off, which means you're going to be more susceptible to being attacked. And because you have fury, it means that, um, like, you're probably just going to die because you're going to, you're, you're more exposed and you have this um, high offense, low defense kind of setup. So I, I think lunge and fury on the same kit is, is, is really bad for him. So I don't anticipate He's going to be crazy good. Um, Lachesis, or Lachesis, I don't know how to say that. Lionheart's sister. Um, wow. What a nice title. Like, your brother's, like, title is Lionheart, and, and you're just his, like, sister. You you don't get any other title. Um, absorb. Man, I was hoping... So, most healers have two options for their... Um, attack or two hop two options for they usually have like multiple options to choose from but the fact that she has to go with absorb and physic i think is really unfortunate and also the fact that she has to go with salt earth bomb i think is really bad so i think just looking at this i don't think she's gonna be a good healer um uh maria is a better defensive healer and sakura is a better offensive healer because um and uh, like no sorry i mean like maria is a, be a is a better like like, res buffing, um, healer, um, and Sakura is a better healer healer, because Sakura gets imbue, because, like, physic is only restores 8 HP, which is basically nothing, so you're really, do, like, relying on the imbue to, like, actually heal your allies, because physic has the utility of two range, but only heals hate, and then absorb, I think, is just, it's, it offers you, it offers your team no utility, like, and you're a healer, so utility is kind of all you got going for you. So I think absorb. I I just think her kit is kind of bad. Um, yeah. Oh, and then there's like spoilers, except not spo they're hinting at spoilers. So again, okay. So I don't. Oh, so it's just kind of reiterating. I don't think Lakisa is gonna be a good healer. She can't compete with Maria or um, Sakura. Eldigan is not going to be a good unit because Fury and Lunge are just going to get him killed constantly. Um, Olwyn, Olwyn and um, Reinhardt, I think, are both good units. Of the two, I'd say Olwyn is definitely more, um, like, kind of utility, and uh, Reinhardt is definitely more um, offensive. But they're, they're probably both going to be good. I wouldn't recommend using them together because your team is just going to be unbalanced. Like, I wouldn't recommend using them together in the arena. Um, especially on defense. You could maybe get away with it on offense, but don't do, don't put both of them on your defense team. Uh, Sanaki, I think is really good. Or not, I, I, I think, I think she's going to be good. Um, and then Klein is going to be fine. I, he's not going to be better than Takumi unless his stats are out of this world. Um, I think you really, like, we really need to see Klein's stats to judge him. So, that's my impression of new units. Uh, Thanks for watching. Leave comments about what you think about the characters as well. I'd love to hear what other people think.